Om den utveckling som, som Chalmers står inför och, och det ni hörde nu, det var bara datorn som sa att nu börjar jag filma Stefan. Så Stefan, jag stannar min delning så är du välkommen att dela istället. Ja, tack så mycket Paul. Och ja, vad jag förstår så vill du att jag gör detta på engelska eftersom ni ska lägga ut det, eller? Det, det går jättebra Stefan. Tack så mycket. Ja, engelska, ja. Så ja, so, okej. Okay. Uh, so I will be sharing a screen here and uh, I will uh, present to you a journey that Chalmers is, is uh, g g moving in, in a new direction where we are moving forward. Uh, this is a de decision taken um, this spring uh, at Chalmers uh, and in the, both the board of the university as well as the board of the foundation. And it, the basic idea, which I will describe for you now, is to take today's very good Chalmers. I mean, we are we are running uh, education and research activities of, of very high quality, and we are considered a forerunner in utilization, innovation, entrepreneurship, in particular uh, nationally. Um, and uh, the basic idea is to take uh, today's Chalmers and to uh, quite a bit increase the level of ambition in all of our activities to create a really truly world-leading technical university. Uh, and we will do this by taking advantage of the uh, foundation form we have. And I will explain how that should be. So imagine today's Chalmers with all of its, its strengths and, and, and the mix of activities we have, um, not only being an ivory tower, but also being a a technical university contributing to the development of, of uh, industry, uh, to the development of society, etc., and and increase the level of ambition there. So this is a new uh, goal uh, we are put up for 20 years ahead, and I will explain why it will take uh, 20 years uh, to move uh, move move ahead. So most of my slides here will be in English. Uh, however, I mixed in a few slides in Swedish, and I hope if you don't understand Swedish that that is okay, and I will explain, of course, in English what, what's on them. But most of them are, are in English. So Chalmers, a global outstanding universe of technology, and again, of course, for a better world, uh, we have had the uh, Chalmers for Sustainable Future have, we had with us as a vision for a long time, and of course, this is sustainability is still in the core of our activities. We are aiming new knowledge and spreading our knowledge for, for a better world. Uh, so uh, here is one slide in, in Swedish, but that just to outline uh, Chalmers history, because this is what we see, what we're doing now is a natural step forward, building on the long history we have where, where um, Chalmers over the time have had uh, several uh, quite unusual for Swedish universities steps taken. But uh, the history is starting all the way back to 1829 with the donation of William Chalmers. Um, and and uh, then Chalmers had very different formats all the way to 1994 when we were transferred into a foundation university. And you could see some famous persons uh, at the bottom of the slide here from, from our history. Chalmers has also... Uh, been uh, a forerunner and, and been uh, really setting the scene in uh, developing uh, the t modern technical university and in, in particular in Sweden also developing uh, what the university is. We have, we have been very early with, for instance, introducing activities on, on uh, entrepreneurship, uh, working very actively with innovation and, and, and incubation and doing that early. We were early in putting up uh, and recruiting uh, top professors in environmental sciences and, and, and aiming at sustainable uh, development. And we can see that many other Swedish universities are following us in this. We put up our areas of advance, uh, our, our Styrkområden in Swedish, um, to aim 
to really linking together different scientific disciplines internally and building platforms for our industrial collaboration. And now, as we see, we are taking the next step in putting up uh, a new goal uh, with taking today's Chalmers um, and, and increase the level of ambition in all of our activities. So uh, Chalmers, a world leading technical university is the, is the uh, way we describe this. And it's easy to say world-class technical university, I just did it, uh, but we, we truly mean this and, and I will explain how we can do it uh, and not only talking about it. Um, and we have described uh, this goal we have put up uh, in the way as, as is uh, shown on this slide as a coordinated university group. And what is that? Because I will talk about university group during my presentation. Well, the university group is Chalmers University of Technology together with all of the companies and foundations that we own or control and that belongs to the family, so to speak. All of them owned or controlled by, by uh, our foundation, Foundation Chalmers University of Technology. So as so the university together with, with the companies we have or, and those we may create uh, will together simultaneously achieve academic quality at the highest European level. Um, and, and I will describe that a little bit more later on, of course, uh, to really be leading in, in uh, education and uh, research. And at the same time, being able to run highly effective utilization and innovation activities that answers to the need outside Chalmers for deliverables of various times. Um, and and uh, here we can see that these deliverables are often in a shorter time scales than what, what the effect of education and research. Of course, the most important uh, impact we have on society is, of course, the uh, graduates that leave us and, and going out working in, in companies or, or in, in other organizations. Um, uh, and that is a sort of long term uh, impact, but we will also need to be able for us to deliver on shorter timescales. So this is basically taking today's Chalmers and increasing the level of ambition, as I have described, and this is the way we have defined it. Uh, so, uh, by doing this, uh, we will not. This will not only be good for Chalmers. We are doing this because it will be. It's necessary for Sweden to have uh, really world-leading technical universities, and world-leading universities uh, in in large, of course. Uh, and by taking this step, we uh, contribute in building a strong academy. In, in Sweden, a stronger academy than today, an autonomous academy, which, which uh, work uh, long term, but at the same time has created the tools that it's necessary to support uh, development at shorter timescales. Uh, by putting up these ambitions, and I will describe how we will do this, we will uh, increase further uh, how uh, the attractiveness of Chalmers for staff, for teachers, for researchers, and for students, of course. Uh, and by doing that, attracting um, uh, top uh, talent to come to Chalmers, we will, of course, um, also contribute in having Sweden as a knowledge nation and, and supporting there. Because we have a lot of strength in Sweden. We have an industry which is very, very successful and, and that is forming in many respects, the financial basis of the welfare state that has been built in Sweden. We have a society with challenges, yes, but also with a lot of strengths and, and the stability. And the third necessary leg here, as I see it, is a strong and autonomous academy. And by doing this, Chalmers is contributing uh, to building uh, that that uh, strength with the third leg here, the strong uh, uh, academy. And we can do this uh, by taking uh, advantage of the foundation format we have. We have a freedom to organize ourselves that is unique in the Swedish system, uh, based on the fact that we are not agencies under the government. We are we are a uh, Chalmers University of Technology is a limited company. It's owned by a foundation and we can 
we can own uh, companies, buildings, uh, IP, and we can invest in that. And much more freely than a governmental or a public university, we can move around financial resources in the group of companies. And we have a foundation which have a capital, uh, which are investing in our activities today, and we can use that even more. So we have taken advantage of the format we have, but we see and, and what we have realized is we can take further steps here and we can do much more than what we have done so far. And we are unique, at least in the Swedish system. Uh, uh, it's We are the only university that can do this journey. Uh, uh, and uh, therefore we have not only the opportunity to do it, I see it as we have the responsibility of, of doing this and showing how a, an independent university can build a world-class uh, activity. So, uh, the goal here is a technical university with relevance at multiple timescales, really world-leading uh, research, top education that prepare the students for their careers, but at the same time, the ability to uh, utilization, innovation, and entrepreneurship that we can work on different timescales. And we will do that using the group of companies we have, as I said. This is the purpose of the Chalmers Foundation, if we should look into the reasons why uh, the former government in 1994 decided to bring uh, Chalmers into this uh, uh, format. Uh, and now by doing that, we take this responsibility of, of uh, developing differently than what is possible in the public system. And we see there is a, a window of opportunity uh, right now. We have been through certain challenges uh, the last years of the pandemic, for instance, uh, and we see we are now ready to take these steps. So there is a window of opportunity now, and that's the reason why we, we are doing this, this now. Again, you have seen this slide. Increase the level of ambition. As a coordinated university group, uh, we should simultaneously achieve academic quality at the highest European level and a highly effective utilization that answers and fulfills the needs uh, in the in the world around us for deliverables at shorter and, and me short and medium time scales and being able to be this successful uh, technical university that Chalmers has been so far, but increasing level of ambition. So to be able to do this, when we are considering what needs to be done, of course, we need a good starting uh, position, a good a strong baseline position, as it's uh, said here. We have to start from something that's already pretty good. And we, we uh, uh, when we describe ourselves and, and when we look around how we compete, we can say we have this good starting point and a strong baseline position to start developing from. So that's that's there. We see uh, for the academic uh, excellence, uh, we uh, see uh, what's lacking in the Swedish system today, and, and that's for sure lacking at Chalmers, is the long-term uh, perspectives in research. We see that research funding is becoming more and more short-term and more and more directed, a larger and larger part of our uh, research funding is is directed to certain areas uh, and is fairly short term with the hope of of course that uh, uh, such uh, funding will will uh, lead to results uh, more rapidly but what you're doing then is that you erode the long term research the uh, fundamental studies uh, and you 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 make the opportunity or the chance for breakthrough results smaller than if you have a more long term funding of research and asking the the professors to follow their ideas. Some of them will not lead to results, but some of them will, and and there where you will find the breakthrough uh, results. So what we will do is to give our faculty, the teachers and researchers we have, more long term funding. We will create base funding, uh, which which does not come from the public system, national system today. We will create part of that ourselves and thereby being able to uh, uh, give 
our researchers, our teachers, the best possible uh, uh, conditions for for really exploring top top uh, research activities. And at the same time, doing that, not building the ivory tower, we should have an organization of companies that is can accommodate different logics and time scales where we can work with utilization. Uh, and innovation and, and thereby uh, remaining the type of university we are today. Uh, so this is what we need to do. Um, and to, re to reach this level of a world-class technical uh, university in 20 years, we have uh, identified four core strategies. So I will explain these four strategies now. And you can see them here. Uh, Strength and academic quality, and this is what I talked about, the base funding, attracting really top talent, attracting the best researchers to be able to do that and to compete with other universities around the globe. We need to offer uh, conditions that are uh, similar to uh, what they can achieve at, for instance, a European top university, for instance, a uh, a top, uh, for instance, at, at some of the federal institutes in Switzerland or, or British top universities. So we need to offer them that conditions. And then we can, uh, together with offering a good academic uh, environment, we can be, a, be a, uh, competitive in, in recruiting top scientists. I will come back to all of them, of course. We need to be able to do that and, and being uh, can affording giving uh, better financial conditions to our researcher, we need to obtain and grow the internal base funding. We need to develop the capital we own and we need to find ways of, of creating internal long-term funding for, for our academic activities. This is about the researchers and, and, and teachers, of course. This is about the students. Uh, uh, but. To be able to do that, we also need to develop our operation support, our administration, to have the, exactly the same goals as the researchers and teachers and in an adequate way supporting this journey. So here we could see uh, operation support. We have other components here like research infrastructures, like campus, uh, like our internal culture, which of course all of them are important and everything needs to be um, streamlines to support uh, the the long term goal of of uh, high quality in all of our academic and utilization activities, and the fourth is uh, developing uh, the uh, university group, the group of companies that we own, uh, and and so that it supports uh, Sharma's abilities. So I would now go through these four these four core strategies one by one. So starting, of course, with the strengthening academic quality. Uh, here is the idea that we uh, should uh, attract uh, top talent and we should um, uh, give existing as well as newly recruited faculty uh, top uh, conditions for doing their uh, research and education. And this is, uh, to a large extent, free funding for 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 research, not to all the time being necessary to look for new external funding, not all the time trying to manage to navigate in 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 a very complex system with a lot of directed funding, which is short term and all the time reporting, but being able to a larger part at least uh, than today, having a long term uh, commitment. Uh, and uh, then, of course, to recruit uh, really top uh, scientists to Chalmers. We are um, already today, one may say that some 40 to 45 percent of our teachers and researchers at Chalmers have a, their education abroad and thereby are internationally recruited. We know how to recruit uh, fairly junior scientists. Uh, we recently closed the fifth round of recruitment of assistant professors uh, and there you can apply up to seven years after your PhD uh, exam and that's a four-year uh, tenure track position so so it's a meriting position and if you fulfill uh, the the demands described um, after four years you are already from the start promised a permanent position uh, as teacher and researcher at Chalmers so we closed the fifth round uh, recently 
11 positions were announced. Uh, we got 1,300 international applicants, um, most of them uh, from outside Sweden, absolutely most, uh, the vast majority from outside Sweden. Uh, and we uh, put a meritocratic process on them, on, on all of them. So, so to have a peer review and to have interviews with the top candidates. And we offered in the end 18 um, uh, candidates uh, these positions. So I said it was 11 positions, but many of them were so good. So we selected also the number twos in many of the areas. So 15 of them accepted and we're now starting at Chalmers fairly recently. And starting at Chalmers in the coming, coming months and maybe up to half a year from now. Good conditions during these positions, and if they if they uh, if they develop well, they are promised uh, permanent positions. So we know how to do that. This was the fifth round, um, and the uh, experiences from the first four rounds is extremely um, uh, positive. We have really attracted top top talent to Chalmers, and and some of them have left, but many of them are still uh, in our in our faculty and from the first rounds, they are today professors and and, and uh, very influential in, in, uh, in developing uh, the directions of our research. So we know how to do that. Maybe we now we look for a little bit more senior uh, researchers and we need to learn, uh, of course, how to do that. But uh, the idea is to give conditions at Chalmers which are similar to what they are offered at, at European top universities at least. So that's the idea, and we are pretty uh, optimistic that that will work out well. And to do that, we need funding, and, and the basic idea is that we should continue not to grow, just to grow in size, we should grow in quality. So we need to control the size of our faculty, the number of teachers and researchers, and we should invest in the ones we have. This is a fairly complex picture, but what we aim for is by internal funding matching the uh, um, the block grant we have from the government for research. Uh, presently, that block grant is uh, a billion Swedish krona this year from the government. So our goal is that in 20 years, we will match this block grant uh, by equal uh, amount from the, uh, the our internal funds. Uh, and that is in today's value of money than a billion Swedish krona. Uh, per year. Today, the foundation invests around 150 million krona per year. So it's really a, a steep increase that is necessary here to reach, uh, reach this goal. By doing this, we will increase the autonomy of Chalmers and our, of our researchers. And I'm sure we will attract top talent and we will uh, form the basis of scientific breakthroughs. So that was the first core strategy recruit and retain top talent, invest in, in, in the faculty. The second one, uh, which I will mention shortly here uh, uh, only is to uh, developing our operations support. We need, uh, we need uh, staff that supports engineering and, and administrative staff that supports uh, our top professors. And we will integrate this much better than what we have managed uh, so far. Uh, and we will, uh, because otherwise we won't uh, meet, uh, be able to meet these high goals we have put up. And here is also things uh, connected to the cultural challenges to, to our campus development, etc. So operation support is the second uh, uh, strategy here to work actively in developing that. The third one is to find the money here for the internal base funding and uh, uh, here again, uh, the reason is that we believe that this is the key to academic excellence. Uh, one of the keys, of course, we need to offer a good academic environment. We need to offer uh, other things. But uh, if we can offer freedom in 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 thought in the thought in the thoughts uh, and freedom in research, we will be very attractive to top researchers. So. We should match the uh, governmental uh, base funding uh, for, for research. Uh, so we should go from today's 150 million in yearly investments to a billion in today's value of money. And we will do that uh, by first growing the Chalmers Foundation capital a bit more aggressively than what has uh, been done so far. It has grown uh, quite a bit over the years since 1994, but we will, we will work more actively with, with the capital here. 
uh, we will, uh, as I said, building up uh, companies around Chalmers uh, that work with utilization, that works together with existing companies that support entrepreneurship. And in some cases there, probably we will be able to also go further out in more commercial operations. So we could also in this sector outside the university create a surplus, which can be uh, through the owning foundation be invested in the activities, the academic activities at Chalmers. We will work again uh, more, uh, more aggressively with fundraising activities. Uh, we are in a preparation phase here um, through that, and that is, of course, uh, directed to our alumni, but that's also directed, of course, to, to uh, uh, persons and, and organizations in Sweden that, that are willing to support the journey where one Swedish university uh, moves from today's, um, today's activities to a really world-leading uh, institution. Uh, and of course, we are pushing the political system. We have done that uh, without too much success a long time to have more long-term uh, conditions. But we, of course, I will uh, and, and others will continue to do that. So work more uh, actively in growing our capital and thereby creating the, the capital uh, in the foundation needed to do this matching event and creating the internal base funding. Uh, Talking to our, our, our financial specialists at the foundation, and they say this should be possible to do uh, if, we, if we do it the right way. If we are looking on any 20-year period after the Second World War, uh, this would have been possible to do this journey. Of course, we know nothing about the future, but, but assuming that uh, the financial system will behave similar as it has done and that we will have a growth, then, then this should be possible. The fourth core strategy is developing a coordinated university group. Uh, and that is to, even better than today, coordinate uh, our activities in the group. We already today have, as you all know, Chalmers Ventures that support uh, entrepreneurship and startups and that, that work that work a lot together with our researchers and we have invested uh, largely in, in Chalmers Venture, the foundation and the university uh, over of the last years, as you know, and, and today we have really a top university incubator there, uh, and we will continue to invest, of course, and, and develop Chalmers Ventures. We also today in our family have at least two companies, which you may say are like research institutes. They are working more short term. They are working together with industry um, for shorter time scales than what the collaboration with industry that we have in our research groups are and they are supporting our research groups uh, in, in industrial collaboration. And that is the companies we have today, is Chalmers Industry Technique, uh, as well as the Frown of the Chalmers Foundation for uh, Industrial Mathematics. So we will, creating this kind of companies, one way, we, we used to have a company for uh, commissioned education for, for, for uh, 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 yeah, yeah, commissioned education and for, for uh, continuing education. Uh, we closed that down during the uh, pandemic because the, uh, the commercial part of uh, continuing education just disappeared. We may again, of course, start such a company and we may start other companies. So we will link, we will create companies that can work uh, out in the, what you may call semi-commercial and even commercial activities. Uh, it should be directed very clearly from the agenda, uh, the Ac academic agenda. This should be a support to our professors um, and we should link that together and by that uh, developing our capacity to continue to support um, uh, society and, 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 and industry in Sweden. Uh, and we can, with the freedom we have, create the companies we need. So this is the uh, four core strategies. And here I just show the, the how, how the, the family looks today um, with the way you could find, for instance, Chalmers Ventures, you see there, and, and you see also a few other names uh, I mentioned. Some are daughter companies, some other are, are associated companies, and some third group is foundations that are controlled by by us or by, by the foundation. So we will develop this university group. 
And, and you could also see with the university group here that uh, in the three main activities, we have education, research, and utilization. Of course, educational research is heavily in the academic part inside genres. Uh, and, uh, but there might also be some activities out in the semi-commercial and commercial uh, parts of the group. Uh, utilization is also is inside charmers, but more heavily out in the other parts of, of the activities. So by doing this and coordinating this, we will create a force uh, that we don't have today, which will, will uh, uh, strengthen the very good activities we already have. The time scale, we're starting now. Uh, we're preparing, enabling, uh, we are informing. So this is one of the informing activities. We have, uh, uh, we are informing key stakeholders around us. Uh, we have, of course, uh, talked internally and we'll com continue to communicate internally and getting everyone on board with, with the same understanding what we're doing. We are, uh, of course, informing uh, our uh, partner, the partner companies we have where we have long-term agreements. Uh, we are informing in a wider range. We are informing the political system so they don't misunderstand what we are doing. So we are in a preparatory phase. We'll see that we will have an establishing phase when we start doing these top recruitments and investing more in faculty when we start to change uh, the company structure in the university group. And we say when we come to our 200th anniversary by 2029, the effects the impact uh, should be clearly seen both internally at Chalmers and in the, the world around us. And then it's a scaling up to, to in, into the 2040s. Uh, we need a time to, to first of all, grow the, the capital and creating the financial resources needed. It takes some time. And then also gradually, uh, when we have retirements, uh, and when people leave uh, for, for retirement uh, to make part of our recruitments, really top recruitments, and these recruitments take time and we will manage a number of them every year, but, but it also takes time to do this change. So this is the 20 years journey, but by our 200th anniversary, we will have large effects. And also that 200th anniversary is of course interesting when we're talking about fundraising, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is just a continuation. Sorry, Swedish slide again. Uh, continuation, which is very Chalmers. It's in the way of thinking. Um, we see that we have an opportunity. Uh, we see that we can do more, and then we are doing it. And we're doing it our way, finding uh, the, the ways forward, using the freedom we have, uh, and thinking differently than what, what uh, most others are doing. And um, so this is just the next step in the development of our university and, uh, and links very good back all the way to 1829 when, when um, Schalmer School of Craftsmanship was uh, started. So we will increase our autonomy we will uh, become even more independent uh, and being able to, 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 to decide ourselves which way we are going. So this is the idea behind the Foundation University that we should be independent and we're taking the next step. And we will use the freedoms we have to do that. So uh, I'm basically by the end of my, my uh, speech now. So together we will achieve this consolidated channel vision. This cannot be done by a single research group or, or, or by a university president or not even just by Chalmers University of Technology. We need to, need to do it together in the university group. We need to do it with our academic staff, with our faculty. We need to do it together with the students and, and the technical and administrative staff we had. It's only together that we can do this journey. Uh, and by doing this, we believe, and, and I clearly believe that we are doing difference for future generations. We are contributing uh, to, to a positive development. We are contributing, strengthening Sweden's competitiveness by doing that. Um, and uh, by that, we're taking the next step in developing Chalmers and taking Chalmers into the future. So here we are, an increased level of ambition, uh, four core strategies, recruit and retain top talent, invest in the faculty, so we need to create the funding to do that, 
building operations support and, and, and a culture that, that supports this journey. That's the third mission and develop the uh, group around Chalmers, uh, thereby uh, ensuring that we are not only having academic excellence, we are also excellent in utilizing, innovating and, and supporting entrepreneurship and supporting existing industry. This is the DNA of Chalmers that we would like to develop and, and keep the DNA, but increase the level of ambition. So that is where we are. We're starting now, 20 years ahead. We will, we will see an even more successful Chalmers and we will see clear effects already at our, in 2029, at our 200th anniversary. So by that, thank you very much. And I'm happy to answer questions. Jätte tack, Stefan, stort tack. Uh, en en uh, fråga har kommit upp, den kom från Thomas Bern. Uh, han skrev det på chatten, det var rätt check. Han frågade lite här, hur kommer du...